Hey guys, what's up? Carter here. Well, I was perusing the new Spyderco 2014 catalog and uh, figured I would share some dialogue with you guys on some of the new stuff that they have going on this year. Um, I'm not a big Spyderco guy right now, um, so I haven't been keeping tabs on what's new. Um, so if I get things wrong or I'm confused, please excuse me. Um, but just looking through this catalog, there's some pretty cool things going on that I wanted to uh, talk about with you guys. First off, we've got this uh, battle station, which looks pretty freaking cool. Looks like a smaller blade, three inches. What's the overall length on here? Uh, 7.2. So pretty small overall, smaller than I like to go generally, but it looks pretty cool. Um, I kind of like this upswept tanto looking thing I'm not sure what you would call that tanto style blade is saber ground yeah they call it a hybrid tanto style blade uh, but it definitely looks cool it's designed by Alejandro Diacon Seku I am not familiar with that individual uh, but it definitely looks pretty cool uh, this is neat so now Spyderco has a full-on Emerson style folding karambit even has the Emerson wave on it uh, however, this is a, a lockback, so that is pretty neat. It looks like a smaller sized karambit. That's pretty cool. Domino, I think this one's already out. Um, it's listed as new, but I think they've actually released that one. Same with the dove, double bevel, bevel, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's a Bob Terzula design. Doesn't really strike me as anything particularly fantastic. Um, at least design-wise, it doesn't look anything remarkable. Uh, this is pretty cool. The Rock, or ROC. I'm not sure what it's going by. I think Rock. Rock. Uh, so this is designed by, I'm not sure if, sure if it's pronounced Sergey, Serge, Serhey, Penchenko. Um, very, very cool. As you can see, it's got like a butcher style blade right here. Uh, very unique design. Kind of a medium, small sized blade. I think the overall is... 7.76, so just under 8 inches. Um, unfortunately, with this, um, Mr. Panchenko, his strongest uh, design prowess is actually in his kind of his finishes, his, uh, his antiquing, his um, archaic kind of uh, finish that he puts on his stuff. For example, here is some of his work right here. You can see how it's very textured and kind of bronzy and uh, you got stuff going on here. So this is kind of his claim to fame, this like cool antiqued finishes he does. So it's kind of a shame that absolutely none of that is um, being implemented here. It's, it's pretty much your standard uh, Spyderco finishes uh, just with kind of his, his design, but still very cool. I think that's definitely worth looking forward to. Firefly, here's a cool one, uh, Tatenka. Tatanka, Tatanka. Um, the, the design on this doesn't really strike me as anything very cool, but if you look how big this thing is, it has a five inch blade, 11 and a half inches overall. It is a beast. And the blade stock, I believe is, is it four mil? Um, blade thickness, yeah, four, four mil thick on this, on this blade. Weighs in at what, 10 ounces, something like that? This thing is a monster. Let's see, 9.5 ounces. What a beast. And then I believe this one also has the power lock. And we'll take a look at that here in a second. So I guess it's a brand new lockback style locking mechanism that Spyderco came out with. Like, I'm assuming that it's debuting with this knife. I don't know if you guys have heard of it on any other knife, but this is the first I've heard of it. Um, so that's very interesting. So definitely a cool knife. I don't think I'll be getting it because I don't need anything like that right now. And um, I don't know, not really my style right now, but definitely a cool thing for them to be offering uh, such a giant knife, you know, if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. This looks pretty cool, this Hungarian folder. I believe this one just came out recently. I, I think I've seen this um, at some dealers. That looks pretty cool. But uh, let's take a look at, if I can get to it, 
before it takes me too long, take a look at the information on that power lock. Looks very interesting. I can't quite, I read the description, I can't quite figure out um, how it works and all of the uh, kind of ins and outs of it, but here it is. So, let's see, where's it at? Power lock right here at the bottom. Let's zoom in here. Oops, wrong way. So the power lock, let's see what it says here. Locking system positioned on the back of the handle using two interacting rocker arms, one of which engages a notch in the blade's tang to lock the blade open. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. It looks like there's a stationary pin right here, which is somewhat similar to the triad lock, but not completely because looks like it only acts as a stop pin for the blade. And then I guess these are the two pieces it's talking about right here that interlock. Um, so I'm guessing when, I, I think this is pinned right here, so when you push on this, it lifts this up and then kind of rotates this piece out, which allows this to slide in. That's what I'm, that's what I'm gathering. So pretty cool. I don't know. Um, I, I'm curious to see, you know, how strong this lock is and what people think of it. It looks very cool. But anyways, guys, so that's it. I just wanted to talk kind of about a few of these things here um, that I found kind of interesting. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know if you know anything more about this power lock. That's very intriguing. All right, guys. Take it easy.